Hello and welcome to another video on the Fossil Hybrid HR. Today we'll be looking at the new features available through the 5.0.4 software update that was recently released. It includes some changes to the media controls and the customization interface in the app, but most importantly it brings back watch face sharing. So let's take a closer look at what's new. Now the first thing I want to talk about is the media controls. If you watched my previous video, you'll know I wasn't exactly pleased with the changes they'd made with the 5.0 update. Okay, so that shortcut button is working as normal, but the media controls look very different. We've got the top button to play pause music, and then the bottom button to access the rest of the controls, like skip tracks or change volume. Now, this is just my first impression, but the media controls are absolutely terrible. With the new update, Fossil has improved the controls somewhat. The big difference is that the controls are now on the main media screen, so you don't have to go jumping through menus to control your music. You can press the top button to increase your volume, and you can press the bottom button to lower it. You'll see on the left here that long pressing the top button will let you play and pause your music. What's cool is that when you pause your music, it'll show you the timestamp. It disappears again when you play your music. Long pressing the bottom button is interesting, because if you're playing your music, then long pressing the bottom button will let you skip to the next track. But if I pause my music, do you notice how the icon changes? If your music is paused, then long pressing the bottom button will let you go to the previous track. So the first long press will restart your current song, and the next one goes to the previous track. Although I think the updated controls are better than the previous version, I still think they're not as good as the version we had before that. When I'm listening to podcasts or audiobooks, for example, I like to use the previous track button to go back 10 or 15 seconds in case I've missed something where I wasn't paying attention. With this new update, it's really inconvenient to have to pause my audio for that functionality, especially if I have to do it often. I also don't like how the next track control is still linked to the volume down button, even though it should be linked to the volume up button. But really, the main problem is that it seems Fossil just wants to keep the middle button limited to either opening the main menu or being a dedicated back button. And I understand their desire for a consistent design language, but what I have an issue with is that that entire functionality can be achieved by long pressing the middle button. Like opening the main menu from the home screen, for example. I can do that by pressing the middle button, but I can also do it by long pressing the middle button. So having two controls do the same thing is kind of a waste. Now let's say I have the settings open. No matter what option I'm on, I can long press the middle button to go back. If I have an app open, like the stopwatch, again, I can long press the middle button to go back. Even in the media controls, I can long press the middle button to go back to the home screen. That's what it does. Long pressing the middle button is the hybrid HR's version of a dedicated back button. So it makes no sense to waste the middle button short press on the exact same function, especially in the media controls. If the middle button let users play and pause their music, like it did before, then the top and bottom buttons could easily let users control their volume with a short press, or skip between tracks with a long press, like they did before. And everyone would know that long pressing the middle button would let you go back to the home screen, because that's what it does everywhere else on the watch. And if you think that the control layout would go against Fossil's new design language, just look at the timer app. The top and bottom buttons let you change the time limit, and the middle button is how you start the timer. I mean, look at it, it's literally a play button. If I want to go back from the screen, I know that I just have to long press the middle button, because that's what long pressing the middle button does. So I just don't understand why we can't go back to the same media controls as the old version. They worked perfectly. But anyway, the media controls have improved from version 5.0, and they are slightly less terrible than they were before. I'm grateful that Fossil is listening to the user feedback, and they're taking steps to improve the overall user experience. Speaking of which, the new update allows you to share watch faces again. Being able to share watch face designs was a huge part of the hybrid HR community, and I'm glad it's back. Plus, Fossil managed to actually improve it, because you can now preview a watch face before you apply it. For example, let's take a look at the Material U watch face I used in my previous video. It's fantastic design, and a lot of people wanted to know how to get it, so I put a link in this video's description as well. Once you click the link, it'll open it in the Fossil app, and what's new with this update is that you can actually preview the watch face before you apply it to your watch. Then you can tap on the tick mark in the top right corner to actually apply it to the hybrid HR. And if you want to share your own watch face, you can do that really easily as well. Just long press on any of your watch faces in the app, and you'll see a share icon in the top right corner. Tap on that, and it'll bring up the share menu with a link. 
share that link with whoever you want and they'll be able to get the same exact watch face as you. So with the same dial layout and designs and everything. It's quick, it's simple, and well done to Fossil for bringing that feature back and actually improving it. It's a great new addition. Another great new addition is what Fossil has done to the customization interface. In the previous version, when you tapped on your watch face, the watch would stay the same size. With this new update, if you tap on the watch now, the watch face becomes much bigger, so it's a lot easier to customize your watch face and move your dials around. And speaking of dials, the update has brought back dial customization options, so you can now choose between different dial backgrounds and ring designs, and of course, you can tap on the dial information to switch between black and white text. For some reason, the dial designs are duplicated in my Fossil app, so it starts with nothing, then it cycles through the black dials and the white dials, and then it comes back to nothing, and then again the black dials and the white dials. So I don't know exactly why it's repeating, but I assume it's a minor software issue and not really a big deal. I think the bigger watch face image is an excellent addition, and it makes aligning design elements much easier. It would be cool if it had some kind of snap feature to make each dial perfectly aligned with the other, or maybe along the center, but one step at a time. For now, this update brings back some long requested features and makes genuinely useful updates to them. It also tries to improve other features like the media controls, but it isn't as successful. In any case, I'm glad that Fossil is listening to its users and trying to make the overall experience better, so they definitely deserve credit for that. That about covers it for this video, but if you have any other questions, comments or concerns, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you and your family are safe and well wherever you are in the world. This has been Saeem Siddiqui from Zeus Reviews, over and out.